description below. If you guys want to be part of the notification squad, all you have to do is comment down below hashtag Sam with a yellow heart. Don't forget to answer the question of the day which will be said at the end of this video. Now let's get on to the video. Um, favorite BD21 character, Tata. So I have a bunch of like Tata stuff. Like I have four. Yeah, I have four. Tata because Tam's my bias and Tata is his character in BD21. So what is your first ever K-pop group did you watch? Mashanda Pop. What is your first? Okay, so she's basically asking what is the first K-pop group that I watched. So the first K-pop group that I watched was back in 2017 and it was The Whistle Video by Blackpink. What are the characteristics you love about Taehyung? The things that I love about Tae is one, he's a baby. Like he may not be the mafia of the group, but he's like second to the youngest, but he acts more baby than Jungkook. And I think that's so cute. Uh, second thing, second trait that I love about Taeyong is he's very family oriented. And being Filipino, like we're very family oriented. Like we do everything with our families. And I think that him wanting to like include his family and in everything he does is so, so cute. And yeah. Are you planning to buy all versions of the new BTS album? I love you at the time. Love you too, uh, yes. So a lot of people have been asking me if I pre-ordered it, I haven't yet, but yeah. How did you get into BTS? Okay, so fun fact, I've known BTS ever since like Blood, Sweat and Tears because my brother, my younger brother used to be a fan. He isn't a fan anymore. <laughs> um, he used to be a fan and like he would play that song in the car all the time. And yeah. I've known about them since then, but I was never really like a fan fan of BTS up until like I saw the video of Boy With Love and that's how it just started. Human Ho or Taehyung? Pick one. Haha, <laughs> love you. <laughs> Jian, I hate you. Um, can it be both? Because Lee Min Ho is like an actor and Taehyung is like a singer. So... <laughs> Yes, both. What's your favorite K-pop music video? My favorite K-pop music video of all time is the Make It Right by BTS Feet Love. Oh my gosh, that video is so cute. I cried like twice. When did you start to listen to K-pop and why? So I I wasn't like like really listening to K-pop. K-pop just Blackpink, and that was back in 2017. And I would only listen to Blackpink music back then, so yeah, I don't think that's counted as K-pop because people like literally drag you if you only support one group and they're like, it's not K-pop, you're just a boy, you're just a army, blah blah blah. How do you get biased I actually don't really know, okay? It started like with the Boy With Love video and I saw it. And then I was like, who's that guy with the blue hair? Like, he's really good at singing and his visuals are like... So I searched it up and that's how it became video ever since. <laughs> Go to BTS concert without any of their merch like BT21 or can't see them forever and have lots of merch. I'd rather go to a BTS concert and have no merch, honestly. I think a lot of army would like agree. Hello, ano pa po yung K-pop group na iniistan nyo? Shoutout na din po. So I stand a lot of K-pop groups. So there's Blackpink, there's BTS, there's ITZY, there's Seventeen, there's EXO, 
there's TXT, there's ATs, um, Pentagon, uh, Twice, G Idol, Eyes One, um, trying to think of the other groups. I just don't want to leave anybody out. <laughs> if you saw one BTS member, what will you say to them? By the way, I love you, Kim Sammy. Oh, that's so cute. Um, if I saw a BTS member on the street, I'd probably like run the other way, just because like I don't want to invade their privacy or anything, and I just want them to like enjoy themselves while they're out. So, yeah. What K-pop? Oh, and all K-pop concerts for um. Gusto niyong puntahan this year. Love you, Paul. Love you too. Um, BTS, the. Uh, I'm watching Seventeen with my cousins next month, so that's pretty exciting. But my number one group this year would probably be BTS. Bong Yu from TXT, a baby. I love you so much, by the way. I love you too. Yes. He's a literal baby. I love him. Which K-pop music video would you want to live in? By the way, love you, Akko Sammy. Have a nice day. Oh, thank you. Have a nice day too, and I love you. Um, I would want to live in Blood, Sweat, and Tears music video. <laughs> Nobody asked me why, but yes. Stay on your only man. No. Top three favorite K-pop idols. Oh, that's really hard. Can I just say my bias from each group? So there's Taeyeon, number one, Yeonjun from DXT, and the third one would probably be NCT Wavy's Lucas. How did you become an ARMY? So a lot of people actually ask this question on the response if they want to know. So I became an ARMY, like I said, through the Boy With Love music video. Like, that's how it all started. Like. I didn't even think I would ever become an ARMY because like before I really didn't like BTS and I was like yes One Direction, yes Justin Bieber, stuff like that. Um, I don't know and then something just clicked in my brain, I don't know. What are you planning to buy when you go to Korea? Uh, merch, more merch, more merch, I don't know, I don't know, we'll see when I get to it. What is your favorite K-pop girl group? Um, as of the moment, it's like Twice and Itzy are like on the same level. They're like fighting to be which one is going to be my favorite. What's your opinion on YG Entertainment? And I love your content on TikTok and YouTube. Oh, thank you. Um, TBH, I don't really like YG because they don't take care of their idols properly. And I think every K-pop group or like solo should be taken care of the right way and I don't think like YG does that for their groups. How do you learn speaking Korean language? So I bought a bunch of books when I was still in San Francisco. I bought like a bunch of books that like textbooks of the Korean language and like workbooks and stuff so I taught myself through those books and like some YouTube videos like they have videos on YouTube where you can learn the language so that's how I learned as well. Um, so I can read the characters and stuff but I still have yet to know how to translate them into like English words so I can understand them. It's actually very difficult but learning the characters and like being able to read Hangul is very easy. It's just the transition part, that's Who do you love more, BTS or EXO? BTS. <laughs> if V was not in BTS, who would be your bias? And it's really, like right now, Yogi and like J-Hope are like fighting to be on my bias list for some reason. So yeah, either Yogi or Kobe. How did you find out about K-pop? Well, my cousins were already into K-pop like a long time ago. Um, I knew of it, but then like I only really started liking K-pop back in 2017 because of Blackpink. Who's your bias in all the groups you stand? Okay, so for BTS it's Taeyong, for Blackpink it's Lisa, for Pentagon it's Kino, for EXO it's Kai, 
for twice. It's Dahyun. For Itzy, it's Yeji. For Super M, it's Lucas. For Red Velvet, it's Irene. For Seventeen, it's Vernon. For TXT, it's Yeonjun. I'm trying to think of the others. I'm super blocking out now, but yeah. Most, most of my biases are them. What era did you become an ARMY persona? What album of BTS is your favorite? Shout out to you, shout out to you, Aaliyah. Um, my favorite uh, BTS album is Love Yourself, Answer, Version X. Kailan mo ba pumunta sa Korea at I love you on March? I'm ready. Spend one thousand dollars to buy Kayan himself. I am hundred percent sure that not even one thousand dollars can buy Kayan. It's like more than that. Since 2019. <laughs> what Itzy song is your favorite song? Sing it. Oh, that's it. I see that I might see. I see that I might see. Are you multi fandom? Yes. Do you stand God Seven? Yes. If so, who's your bias? Mark. Mark. Mark Twain. You know, Taeyong's grandmother is Filipino. I don't know what to say about it. First of all, you shouldn't believe anything that people say unless, like, there's a source. But I highly doubt. She's probably, like, full Korean. Concert or fan meet? Ooh, I actually want to go to a fan meet, honestly. Is there a certain K pop idol that you would like to know personally instead of as a fan? Uh, yes. I personally like to know. Either Cookie or Hobie. I I honestly just want to be their best friend. Last question. Bakit guapo ni Baby J Hope? Why? I don't know. Okay. I don't understand how people can dislike J Hope. He is so pretty in a manly way, and like he's super funny. And you know, J Hope deserves more love and attention. Y'all are sleeping on J-Hope, honestly. Stan Hope B. It's almost his birthday next month. I'm very to go celebrate it. Yes. So there are actually a lot more questions that I wasn't able to answer because of the time. So um, if you guys want me to do a part two, ask more questions like not regarding just about BTS, you know, because I stand other groups too. So yeah, but I actually had a lot of fun answering a lot of questions and I hope you guys got to, you know, more learn more things about me and what I like about K-pop and the other groups I stand and stuff like that. So yeah, if you question of the day, by the way, the are you a multi-fan or do you just stand like one group? If you guys like this video, please do give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that notification bell or that notification box. And I post every Friday. See you guys with another new video next Friday. Bye!